Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Dhuvian Shagruwal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. Today we will be talking about another data science course that is coming your way again from the University of Amsterdam. I have made another video on University of Amsterdam data science course but this is a different one. So in this video we will be talking about the course overview, the program requirements, the admission requirements, English language proficiency, application and procedure, fee scholarships, everything. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this awesome course so let's just start with the course about the university so I have made a different video uh, for the same university University of Amsterdam with information studies and data science track so you can go have a look at it for the university profile so in this course this course goes by the name of masters of artificial intelligence which is more on a technical side so this is the landing page of this course and uh, you know of course like other courses the very first lines are about uh, all about AI self-driving car, robotic manufacturing, machine translation all of these things and um, the program covers a wide range of topics in AI lectures lecturers are world-renowned researchers of course I mean this Dutch University is the topmost university in Netherlands and of course in the world and um, informal teaching environment and students with many nationalities of course Again, I told you about the international students. A lot of international students are already studying in this university. So you'll be getting a very vibrant uh, environment to study. And uh, about uh, this course, if uh, AI is for you, so the restricted number of students is accepted to the program every year and eligible candidates will be based on the ranking criteria. So there is a ranking criteria that they follow and uh, based on that top students are called. That ranking is based on a number of factors uh, based on your profile. Uh, we will see into it and uh, the facts and figures of course uh, so the course is MSc in artificial intelligence earlier was MSc in information studies and uh, this is only available in full-time mode and the language of instruction is English Croho code again they have given and uh, it is a 24 month course 120 European credits so you will be studying for two year full-time this is a two-year course not a one-year course and it also starts in fall September and the location is again science park if you talk about this program the core courses that are being taught here so there are some core courses which are sums up to 42 credits uh, these are machine learning nlp deep learning computer vision fairness accountability confidentiality and transparency in ai information retrieval and knowledge representation and reasoning and there are restricted choice courses of 18 credits and in year two, you will be studying about restricted choice and free choice elective courses. 12 credits you will have to study. Uh, I mean, two courses, six credits each. And there is a 48 credit master's thesis as well. Here you will have to write. So this is all about the year two. And uh, again, part-time study is not available for uh, this particular course. You will have to be a full-time student for this course. It can be completed in two years. For the electives courses that are available here are in the first year you can have all of these courses which are highlighted casualty data mining techniques data driven business knowledge representation on web project artificial intelligence a and project artificial intelligence b these kind of courses and in the second year these are the courses evolutionary computing machine learning theory neural dynamics and deep learning project artificial intelligence a and project artificial intelligence b and uh, if you want to have elective course from other domains you can have these agent based modeling big data cognition and language development intelligent interactive systems philosophy of cognition in the brain scientific visualization and virtual reality these are the courses that you can take from other departments as well uh, as for the device configurations same applies 4 gb of ram hdd or ssd 128 or 256 gb for a dual boot ssd is recommended wi-fi adapter 3.0 wi-fi is required for use screen at least 11 inches and the screen resolution the standard 1366 by 768 or 1920 by 1080 which is available in most of the laptops these days and the discounted softwares are also available once you get uh, into this university and in this course and Microsoft Office is available for all of the students who are enrolled in this course and again I mean if you uh, misplace your laptop or your laptop is broken and gone for repair you have a facility to temporarily rent laptops from the service desk from the um, campus library as for the applications so uh, for the international students uh, starting in September the deadline is 31st of January uh, same was with the information studies as well so if you are going to apply for both of these make sure you apply before 31st of January and you are eligible to apply for both of the uh, both of the above it's not like you have to apply only to any one of the courses and 
now let's just see about the application process so the application process of course once you need to reach an international team these are the links i'll pass these into the video description you need to check the deadlines first so deadlines we have already checked uh, check the entry requirements as well so here there are some rigorous course requirements that you need to have you need to have either a dutch bachelor degree in ai or computer science or you have a foreign qualification comparable to ai or computer science in the netherlands so uh, these are the courses that are required for you to be studied prior uh, basic knowledge of computer science 12 credits basic programming skills 12 credits basic university level calculus 6 credits basic university level linear algebra 6 credits probability and statistics 6 credits and uh, you need to uh, provide a motivation which matches the content of the master's program i mean the motivation letter of course and the proficiency requirement in english these are the documents that are required of course apart from uh, whatever courses that they have given and i reckon all of these courses are already been taught in uh, uh, in a btech in computer science so if you have done in uh, done a btech in computer science you don't need to have a look on whether or not you have studied these courses i do assure you that these courses are already been taught in btech computer science courses and um, there are some additional requirements in terms of gpa so you need to have a 6.5 according to the dutch grading system 3.0 on an american system 2.1 on a british system and c as in the ects system and uh, they have a limited capacity for this particular program they take around 200 students for this master's program and they're gonna take 200 for 22 23 program and uh, they will be selected on the base of ranking i told you they rank it and uh, they rank according to the following criteria the gpa score relevant ai projects programming skills knowledge of logic knowledge of mathematics topic of bachelor thesis motivation for content master program your motivation letter basically relevant ai courses and publications so these are the things that you need to make sure uh, you excel at i mean gpa score is written on number one i don't know if it all follows any particular order but if it is written on number one there is a certain kind of pressure on gpa score so you need to have a very good uh, hold on uh, your on your gpa and based on these uh, they will give you the numbers and uh, based on that number credit system uh, the admission board will make up a ranking board and top 200 students will be uh, invited to this master's program and of course there would be a waitlist kind of thing here that applies in case uh, a person from top 200 denies the offer english language proficiency it is same as was in the case of information studies so uh, you need to prove your english language proficiency either with toefl ielts or a cambridge test other tests will not be accepted and you are exempt from english language only if you have a bachelor's degree from a dutch university or you are belonging to any of the countries like uk ireland usa canada with exception of quebec australia and new zealand and apart from if you are from any other country you will have to appear for the english language test and uh, the test deadlines for the test results also for this is february 1 so you need to give the score latest by february 1 and uh, then again you need to submit enrollment application in study link you will be getting your dg id and with that dg id you will have to activate your uva net id and uh, based on that you will have to complete the application form with that uva net id and in that you will have to upload the following documents a motivation letter of course maximum 500 words your cv your resume in english copy of your high school grade list copy of your bachelor's transcript in dutch english german or french or if it is in un, any other language uh, there you need to provide the translated one as well and a description of your bachelor's thesis project in english if applicable of course most of the universities these days uh, do ask you to have a bachelor's thesis so you will have a description on that as well two email addresses of the referees and the proof of english language proficiency again and then you will have to wait for the admission decision they say that it will not take longer than six weeks so uh, you can expect your result to come within six weeks of your application as for the english language uh, proficiency requirements uh, they accept toefl ibt and for this course artificial intelligence it lies in the exception band and you will have 100 with a minimum of 22 for listening 24 for reading and writing and 25 for speaking these are the core requirements for toefl and for ielts you need a score of 7 with 6.5 on each uh, of the separate uh, band and uh, again this is in the exception side and in cambridge as well it lies in the exception you need to have a minimum score of c1 advanced with a minimum of 190 so these are the requirements for the english language 
and you will have to give if you are from India or any other Asian country. TOEFL Home Edition is allowed for intakes in February and September 2022. So for this course, which is for the September 22 intake, uh, this TOEFL Home Edition is applicable. If you have given the TOEFL Home Edition, they will accept it. And these tests, whatever test you are submitting should not be older than two years. So if you have given the test more than two years ago, you will need to uh, reappear for the test and give the scores, fresh scores. As for the tuition fees, they have given a, a different dedicated website, which is basically a calculator for you based on the choices you make. So I have inputted all the uh, fields, all the relevant fields to save some time. So this is the course Artificial Intelligent Masters and I want to follow a regular program. So this is the fee details for you guys, but it all it is inclusive of all the types of resident permits, so international or EU students as well. So further, they have asked about the nationality, so we don't lie into any of these. And our residence permit is we have we don't have any residence permit. So that tuition fees is sixteen thousand sixty euros, and apart from that, you need to have a statutory tuition fees of two thousand two hundred nine euros, and if we add both the tuition fees and the statutory tuition fees uh, it would correspond to 18,269 euros that is for one year and if we double it that would be for two years so for two years the total tuition fees in euros would be 36,538 and if it uh, and if we convert it into uh, the Indian rupees it would turn out to 30 lakh 70 thousand as of the current rate so this is the total fees that you will have to pay and uh, about the scholarships as i have already told you i'll not go into the scholarship details in this video uh, there is a video of the exact same university but with a different course most of the things were almost same for this course and the other one so you can go have a look at it and i have explained about the university profile and the scholarships in greater detail there you can go have a look at that video as well if you want to have a look at the scholarships which are applicable to this particular course and uh, that was certainly all about this particular course and if you like this course please go apply to this course and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share this video in the channel with your friends who are looking out for data science course around the world i have a lot of data science courses that i have already covered on my video channel you can go explore them as well and let your friends know about this channel and in the near future i'll be coming up with more data science courses and will try to expand the channel to more generic computer science courses and more specializations inclusive in computer science like cyber security web development android development these kind of specializations with a master's degree so stay tuned to the channel i'll keep coming up with the interesting videos until next time au revoir